Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello, it's great to be with you, and I don't think anybody is going to complain, especially about the weather. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the group stage for these two nations here at the 2023 Women's World Cup. It's Sweden, and they take on South Africa. Well, I'm looking forward to this one, Derek. It's so important that you get off to a good start, so let's hope both sides go for the win here and we get an exciting match. Here's the starting 11 for Sweden. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the lineup for South Africa. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the fullback and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. And they kick off here. Matlou, Rafilo Jane. Oh, a really single minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Jane. Now there to intercept. Succeeded in keeping it in play. They couldn't keep possession. And getting in there to intercept. And teammates to play it to. Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. Stina Blackstenius. Fridolina Rolfe. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. And with the goalkeeper. Rafilo Jane. Now, who can she play it to? Oh, surely! And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal.
And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Options in the centre. Textbook defending inside the box. Good looking sequence. Flamini. And a throw in it's going to be. Linda Mothalo. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Who can they pick out? And a little too close to the keeper in the end. Nicely cut out. Kosovari Aslani. Oh, nice ball. Had a chance to whip it in here. Well, they continue their push for the equaliser, but definitely not forcing it. An unforced error, you've got to say. Cezanne. Germain Seoposenwe. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Stina Blackstenius. Blackstenius. Ericsson. And Blackstenius. Elin Rubinson, really good attacking play. And blocked for now. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. Being pressed and pressed high. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Excellent assessment of the city. Must be! Oh, she should have done so much better from there. This corner could be useful to them. They take it short. Amanda Illestet. And it's played into the center. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Can she score? And the keeper taking it cleanly. Well, under pressure, but that doesn't bother her. And with that, the first half draws to a close. And now they get the ball rolling. Now, who can she play it to? Oh, surely! And a goal! 1-0 it is! They've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Must be! Oh, she should have done so much better from there.
Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Crossing opportunity. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. And they will make the change now. Linda Mokhalo, an incisive pass. Angledahl. Sega. Sofia Jakobsson. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. And it was a good looking sequence, but it comes to an end. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. How about the cross? Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Angledahl, Stina Blackstenius, plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce, in position, and it's a goal, level again, what a match this is turning out to be. Well, here it is again. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect, but look at the defenders. They lose their concentration, become sloppy with their marking, and as a result, they find the ball in the back of their net. Just not good enough. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Loco Matlu did well to win the ball back. Trying to really get at the opposition here. Chances on. And a goal! Another one! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, just watch this again. A change of pace, a change of direction, and a decent finish. That's a very good goal. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Hilda Magaya. A creative look about this. Germain Seopusenwe. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Breaking at pace. Glamini. Loco Matlu. Mokhalo. Looked as though she was one step ahead of her opponent. Jona Anderson. Illestet. Anderson. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Oh, that 
latching onto it magnificently, but denied by the woodwork. Yeah, it's so difficult just to get that on target. She can count herself unlucky there. Successfully cut out. Magdalena Eriksson. Philippa Angeldahl. On to Aslani. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. Gives it a go! Just made sure nothing came of that. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. But they dealt with the threat first. And straight out of play by the goalkeeper. And it'll be a throw-in. And it is substitution time at this juncture. Not just from one side, but from both. Straight forward for the keeper. Carolina Sega. Stina Blackstenius. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well read to put an end to that attack. Over the touchline for a throw in. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Loco Matlu. Are still pressing for a goal here. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. She just doesn't want to give the ball away. A poor cross, all things considered. And there goes the final whistle. It goes into the history books as a win for them. So, morale is high. Stuart, your analysis. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserved the result in the end. And now they get the ball rolling. Now, who can she play it to? Oh, surely! 